Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new promo and to be honest, it's looking really cool. So you guys know we're going to be doing a lot of reviews today. But for the first one, we have the new SBC Sandro Tonali card. So guys, if you watched the reviews this year, right, and you guys saw the comparisons that I made to every single CDM, even the, uh, what was it, the Future Stars Shua Mane card, right? I always said that a card like Sandro Tonali has that defensive it factor, okay? And now he has a new card. So with Sandro Tonali, guys, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'11", medium high work rates, right-footed, three-star skills, four-star weak foot. Guys, for a CDM, look at his base card stats with the four-star weak foot and the work rates. This is already incredible, okay? In-game player traits, uh, the card has the team player trait, in-game attributes. He's going to have 93 acceleration with 99 sprint speed on the Shadow Chemist style, which is obviously going to be the obvious choice for this card because the main focus and point of getting him in your squad is for him to be your strong defensive presence through the middle of the pitch, right? Uh, with his shooting, his base card stats for shooting uh, is at a 74 for finishing, but he does have good shot power and long shots. So if so, you know, if you do get into those opportunities, we could potentially score those uh, goals. He could potentially score, but you do have to work high percentage strikes as much as possible. Uh, his passing for a CDM, guys, is amazing, right? He's in the 90s for his passing for vision, short passing, long passing, uh, curves at an 86. All of that with a four star weak foot with an 86 for composure playing in that CDM area is really good. His dribbling stats, the reason why his dribbling stats are good as well, guys, is because Sandro Tonali has a unique body type, okay? So that unique body type, the fact that this guy is 21 years old just blew my mind because he's so good, okay? 21, wow. Uh, yeah, this card's dribbling stats with his unique body type, that's gonna be great. And the reason why I know that's gonna be great is because, what was the card that I always, was it this card that I compared to all the time? It was this card. Yeah, it was this card. This is the one that's the road to the final or knockout? Road to the knockouts, yeah. Yeah, it was always this card because I'm like, dude, if, you, if you're looking... Every time I make comparisons, I was always telling people, like, if you're looking for a strong type of defensive mid player, that's going to be your guy, right? I mean, look at the improvements on this thing. Uh, on the shadow chemistry style, he's obviously going to be working with really good defensive stuff. But, guys, the main part is that medium high work rates, okay? Very, very important. Uh, and then he has fantastic physical capabilities as well. Uh, let's see the difference between this and his Champions League card. Oh, big differences. Yeah, big ones. When it's in the threes, fours, and fives, guys, when it's in the ones and twos, like, eh, not so much. But three, fours, and fives, that's when it makes a difference, in my opinion. So definitely some very good stuff there. Uh, with this card in game, guys, again, the main thing that we want to be testing out is defensive capability. So we'll be using the three, four, one, two tactics. Pressure on heavy touch? Good. Uh, and we'll use him in the midfield position to test him out defensively. So, yeah, we'll try him out in game. Hopefully, he is a beast. All right, let's try him out defensively. Oh, it does well to dribble under pressure there. Yeah, marking was perfectly fine there in that midfield position. Good stuff there. Thank you, sir. We do a nice old thing here. Oh, I hit it on the white. He has like a slower animation, obviously, because he's physical, but definitely going to hit it a little bit better right there. So that slide challenge that I did right there uh, was the quick one. So when you want to get that type of slide challenge, you don't want to get up quickly. So don't uh, tap the slide tackle button multiple times because you kind of want him to do the follow through there. But... He still moved very, very quickly. Like when I had to get up from that slide challenge, that animation was actually very fast. Ooh, nice little green time shot on Tenali. There we go. I'll take that. Yep, just a cheeky little, little trigger. Let's do a bounce pass here. Track back is good enough there. Good interception. Ooh, he's coming off of a certain touch, so the uh, elevation of that strike is not going to really lift his foot a certain way. Yeah, it's funny because when I let go of him right there, his tracking in that area was really fast too. Like the way that he kind of goes into the edge of the 18-yard box like really quickly.
See, that's the elevation you're looking for with the type of shot. You kind of want the ball to kind of raise up there. Those actually work. Yeah, overcommitted like crazy, still get the ball back. So guys, you could just tell that he's that physical type of guy, right? Like that's that's the whole point of using this car on your team. So let's just say for instance, you were gonna use a nice little, you know, 4 one 2 and 2 or something, right? A 4 one 2 and 2 bracket two, um, a 4 2 3 one while, while he's playing as one of your CDMs. That's gonna be the best areas for a card like this. Usually for this formation, it's better to have players that are like high, high, but you can totally use them in this formation. He would do a great job in it for sure. You see that initial acceleration of his? So he's done it twice there, right? So you can see that that's what makes him like very, very physical is the fact that he's not gonna be like the most agile at making those types of runs, right? Uh, but again, the whole point of a card like this is to be that brick wall for you in that midfield position, you know? Nicely done. See, when I let go of him, the way he gets back into position is quick enough, man. You guys see how I press the tackle button to kind of like aggressively push into the player? You kind of have to time that a certain way because that is a mechanic that people ignore quite a bit for this game. Oh, one more time? No. You see? Physical presence, man. Well done. Aggressive into it as well. First time pass there. Nice. He was so out of position and he sprinted back into position. You see that? Oh, unlucky. Sometimes, you know, the ball bounces in certain ways, you know? Oh, good pressure on him. Just gonna get the tackle in quick enough. Thank you, sir. Nice, well done, well done. <laughs> it's kind of funny though, because he's actually like committing on the attack a little bit in some uh, in some attacking plays. He actually does go up a tiny bit for sure. It's that AI sprints that I really like when he's out of position. It's very, very nice. Second man press, gets the ball from behind. Look at his positioning again, see? Super fast, man. Ooh, got it on the green, just gotta put more power behind that one. Thank you, Tonali. Nice chip, eh? Mikatari and the gangster. Nice slide challenge. That works. That definitely works. See, I'm telling you, he sometimes gets involved in the attack, man. And he gives me defensive plays, too. With his weak foot too. I'm gonna actually force this run here. Oh, I should have lobbed it instead. Even when I'm not trying, he still defends for me. Pass it upwards. Ball weighted. No! He's back! AI wise, he actually gets an interception. You see that? Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Sandro Tonali SBC. So, uh, in regards to how he performs in game, guys, it's very obvious that you have to give him the shadow chemistry saw because you want him to be that defensive force for you in the midfield position. Now, guys, like I said earlier, the whole reason for you to use a card like this in your team is the same reason you use someone like the So card or the, Digi uh, not the Jibriel, <laughs> the Declan Rice card in your team. 
These guys are the types of dudes that you want to use in the midfield position because you want them to have a very solid defensive presence. That's the main reason why you want to use these cards, right? Because the medium high work rates, uh, the fact that they feel more physical oriented. Uh, if you guys want to have midfielders that are going to feel a little bit more agile, this is not the type of guy to get because he's that physical guy that'll put in some challenges, get some interceptions for you and just be that defensive rock in the midfield. That's the whole purpose of this card. It's not a high, high work rated player like a Renato Sanchez or a Pic or anything like that it's the card that you want to be as defensive as possible right so here's the thing right this card could get upgraded but he's already pretty good you know he's already pretty good for what he's supposed to be used for because guys even with the shooting right if you do get into certain situations at certain times right yeah the finishing is not there but he has the shot power to work with he's got the four star weak foot to work with the incredible passing stats which is great for a person playing in that cdm position uh his dribbling works really well with his body type and height because again when you're going into challenges very physical oriented the reason why i'm saying that he kind of uh, doesn't feel as agile is because because he feels that physical presence in the game that 93 acceleration that he has with his body type and dribbling stats when he goes into challenges right it's strong ones it's not like agile like oh i'm gonna sm i'm smoothly gonna go over here smoothly gonna go over there not like a conte card okay so if that's what you want he's not gonna be that type of guy but if you want a physical dude that's gonna intercept well for you tackle well for you have that physical presence to push the guy off the ball this is going to be your guy. And it's a little bit different, too, because I think in this league, there's not that many Italian players that are medium high for that purpose. Now, obviously, you can get players uh, like Barella, right? And Barella, you know, would fit that role really nicely, too, because to be honest, this card is actually very solid this year. But you have to understand that it's going to depend on the play style that you want the most, because with Barella, he is a person who is... I'm pretty sure a high, high work rated player. Yeah, so he's high, high with a three star, three star capability, right? Uh, Marco Verratti is a guy that plays in League One, so a little bit of a different variable there. So let's go ahead and go to the Serie A here and take off Italian. Okay, so this is for center mid CDM. So Sandro Tonali is there. Vidal is actually pretty solid, but he hasn't gotten any upgrades, obviously, right? Uh, Kessier is pretty decent. Medium high. Who else is medium high? There's Elmas. Elmas, so listen, Elmas is actually really good, but you notice the pace part of the card when you're going after people sprint speed wise. Not the acceleration. The acceleration works works out well. It's the sprint speed that you notice uh, when he has to catch up to people. Uh, Lucas Torreira is the other one, but that's like Uruguay and Fiorentina. Uh, the only comparison that you could have potentially made is Lucatelli or Lucatelli, but he never really received any cards this year. So it's either that comparison to a medium high, or if you want to look at the high, high difference. If you look at the high, high difference, Barella is actually a pretty solid card. So you can just buy them off the market, of course. But there is the variable of this Tonali, you know, the fact that he is an SBC that you could put fodder into, but is an SBC that could still upgrade in the future is fantastic, right? I think the price for the SBC is incredibly fair for what he offers in game four. Those AC Milan and Italian links playing in the Serie A. Um, if you are going to be using him in the proper way, right? So still a solid SBC. I liked him a lot. Um, definitely very, very good for the uh, Serie A teams, especially if he gets those upgrades in the future. So the main upgrades I would say that he needs is probably going to be in pace. Shoot well, it's going to be in what they can give him, right? If they can give him better defensive stats or base card stats, that's fantastic too, because on a shadow, he'd be in the high 90s for like defensive awareness and all that kind of stuff too. So that'd be great, right? But Having those upgrades would be a huge, huge plus for a car that's already formatted very nicely. So, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.